Hey, hey, Game Design Ed here, and I'm back playing around with Puzzle Explorer. Today I want to use Puzzle Explorer to show you how to make a puzzle that has two types of enemies. We'll be here in the Himalayas and we'll build a puzzle we made for another video where we showed you how to make a puzzle that had one enemy. It's the puzzle from when we made a puzzle with yaks, which are one type of enemy. The AI for the yaks, as you remember, is to move toward the player when the player stands on the fruit and blows the whistle. Uh, let's not forget the fruit. And let's run through the puzzle really quick. Now let's get rid of these two boulders and replace them with rhinoceroses. The AI of the rhinoceros is a little different than that of the yak. Instead of moving toward the explorer, the rhinoceros just paces back and forth across the game board. If its path is blocked, it will turn around and go the other way. If that path is blocked, the rhinoceros will turn around again. If the rhinoceros cannot move at least one space in either direction, then it will start pacing up and down the game board. It'll change its direction. We could call the rhinoceros a pacer enemy because it just paces back and forth with no real care for what the player is doing. Unless, of course, the explorer doesn't move out of the rhinoceros's way. So we've replaced the boulders with the pacing rhinoceroses. We could still call the axe or the fruit, but we'd have to be a little more strategic about it. We aren't dealing with boulders that remain at rest until acted on by the explorer. We're dealing with rhinoceroses that pace back and forth. So we have to plan our timing just right. And that's, that's the interesting thing about the rhinoceros is they may keep time things strategically. We have to wait until the bottom rhinoceros is blocking the bottom yak's most direct path to the fruit. So the yak has to move toward the top of the game board. Then we can sneak in and get the camera. And we have to look out for the rhinoceros, which just keeps moving. Next, we have to get the yak out of the way so we can take the path toward the top of the game board. But we have to time it just right again. Then we make our way to the top, avoiding the rhinoceros. And then we get the compass. And that's how you make a puzzle that has two types of enemies. I'm Game Design Ed, and thanks for playing.